Welcome to my channel. I'm Megan. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make pine cone flowers. Now I've done a pine cone flower video before, but it was maybe my fourth video that I ever did. And honestly, it's not the greatest and it's really popular. So I thought that I would just redo in the style I'm doing now. I also have a video I posted recently that I made these flowers, so if you guys are interested, this is not a part of the video today, but you can check out the link in the description box and see how to make these if you're interested in these. I will also share the link to my other pine cone craft video. Remember guys, it was one of my first videos and I've been told that I talk way, way too much through that video. and. Just remember, my channel is called Drink Wine, Be Crafty, and Wine Makes Me Chatty, so I can't guarantee that will not happen again. But <laughs> that being said, check the description box for all of those. The pine cones that I'm using I actually found at, my, at a park near my house, and you will need to bake them if you find them outside. They are nasty, lots of bugs, so bake them for 20 minutes at 200 is what I did. And I also have these tools that I'm using, and these have been the best that I've found so far. The pruning shears I found on Amazon, I will share the link for that. And then the, um, this is like a jewelry kit tools, and I found those at Walmart, but they work really well for this project. Now with this first pine cone, it's really big, so I can make three different styles out of this. I'm gonna cut it pretty low to the bottom, not too low because I don't want it to fall apart, but cutting it lower when you have a big pine cone instead of right down the center will give you more options. Now you can use the flower on this side, um, or what I'm going to do with this particular piece is use the bottom part, which is good to go just as it is. So once you cut that part off, you have one of the style flowers that you can use and we're just going to paint this in the end. And here we have the second flower from this pine cone. And I'm just gonna trim it down, make sure that it's, it depends on if you want it smaller, you can get rid of a lot of these pieces and just trim them down. But this one looks really good. It's no reason to do any more work on this. And then the next part that we're gonna use is that top piece. And really you don't have to do much to this. I usually, maybe take off a layer or even just take off this center part right here. With the smaller pine cones, I don't like the look of the bottom um, on most of them. It's hard to get a good flower that's that style. So I just cut these right down the middle.
it had just rained whenever I went to go find the pine cones, so some of them were closed. Um, when they get wet, they close up, and it didn't fully open whenever I baked it, but I do like the way the bottom looks for this last technique, so I don't need the top part anyway. I'm just going to use this bottom part of this one. And now we're ready to paint. Um, I'm going to actually use spray paint for most of these. I'm just using colors that I already had. I had some red and white and yellow. Um, and the thing about whenever I spray paint these, I really think I want the center part of this to stay with that natural color. I don't want the whole flower to be red. So I'm going to just get some painter's tape and put it over the center of this so it stays in its natural color. And as far as the colors and the painting of the flowers goes, this is all something that you can just do whatever makes your heart happy and whatever colors you like. Um, again, I'm just using some colors that I had, but I still think that they looked really pretty together. And I think you guys can understand just spray painting. I actually only put one layer of spray paint on the red, but some of the other ones needed more coats. Um, but I'm not going to record spray painting on camera. Just get you some spray paint and go to town. With these three, I use spray paint. With my last flower, I want to keep the center of the flower um, the natural color. So I'm going to use some craft paint. And I have a pretty blue that I decided to go with here. I hope you guys like these flowers. I mean, you can use them for so many crafts, so many different projects, any colors and designs that you want to put on them. So I hope this inspires you and you guys come back and see me again. I will have my next video out next week. I may actually do some crafts with these pine cones next week. I'm kind of still trying to figure out um, exactly how I want to use my pine cone flowers. I have so many pine cones now. I need to do something. So <laughs> I hope you like it. Remember to subscribe and like this video and check out the description for the other videos if you're interested and I will see you guys next time.